Hey guys, welcome back. The next GPT, we are looking at a logo maker GPT. So the idea of this GPT is it makes you a professional high quality PNG logo for your business. And what all can it do? So it can develop a logo concept. It helps. It can help shape your initial ideas into viable design logo tailored to your brand or project. Design advice. It offers guidance on the color theory typography and branding helps you choose those elements which resonate with your logo's message similarly using dale 3 you with the specification you provided it creates a logo featuring a white background for easy png conversion and clarifying requests it asks questions to ensure it clearly understands your logo needs for the most business accurate and effective design personalized assistance whether you are a novice or experienced in design it adapts advice to suit your level making the logo creation process accessible and enjoyable supportive interaction it maintains a positive and encouraging tone to assist you in your logo design journey so that's basically what this is about and here i have some example prompts we'll go over and i also have the link to the gpt the GPT creator is Andrew Gow. Okay, so let me go back to here. So let me ask basically the first one here. Or uh, they have uh, some basic uh, prompts here. Uh, we can try that out. So when you execute this prompt, it will basically say creating a logo sounds like a fantastic project to convey warm and an inviting uh, an atmosphere. We can focus on color and overall design style that reflects these qualities. So it basically asks you which one do you want? Do you want to consider deep brown, rich and subtle oranges or do you want to uh, ascent color or it's giving you basically some options, right? Given these ideas, uh, which one do you want to go with? So logo composition and all. So let me actually pick uh, some specific one. Let me say warm tones and I would say uh, a cup of coffee. And design, I'm not going to provide anything here. Uh, I would basically say uh, balance here. And uh, yeah, let's actually see it generates a logo for us here. So yeah, it generally is doing creating an image. As we already know, whenever you do Dale2 yourself or uh, any other GPT is doing Dale2, give it a minute or two for the image to come out. And yeah, the image is ready. You can go here and you can download this. Or if you want text on it, you can keep iterating through it. And let's look at more one. So I'm the next one is I'm starting a tech company focused on environmental solutions. The name is Green Tech. Can you help me with logo? So yeah, if you want specifics, you can say electric vehicle, solar or whatever you are doing, you can actually ask it. It will tailor that request for you. So I since I said green, so I'll pick green. So yeah, I will pick color palette as green here. If you want, you can actually pick whichever you want. So clean and sustainable energy symbols. Uh, modern and minimalistic, right? So I'll go with modern and minim uh, minimalistic. And yeah, this one, it already has it. So if you want, you can play around with it and ask for logo composition. Uh, you don't like it, you want something else with a group of people and text, whatever you want, you can ask it. You should get that specific uh, uh, request you made. Again, Dale 2 is in progress. Give it a minute or two. The logo should come out for us okay so this is the logo we got for us and if you click on this you can download this and use it wherever you want and uh, similarly let's do one more i, I would say uh, i need a logo for my yoga st uh, yoga studio called tranquil lotus something simple and elegant right so I would basically want a color palette to be soft and calming tones. So I picked it. 
and imaginary lotus flower is something I would not prefer, minimalistic design. Okay. So yeah, let me pick that here. And the next one is uh, focus on the load. I would say space around the logo to uh, make it elegance, right? So I would say this, focus on this. So yeah, these are the three stuff I wanted, minimalistic design and I would say clean lines. So let's see, it would create a logo for us. As usual, uh, Dale 3 takes a minute or two. So while this is in progress, let's move on to the next prompt and keep it ready. So next one is uh, sweet sensations is the bakery. I want to create a logo. I want to include a cupcake and be colorful. So yeah, if you don't like cupcake, if you like uh, uh, some pastry or anything or anything specific, you, you are free to play around with it. So create a logo for my bakery. And again, you can play around with it and say, change the colors in between, insert different colors. So you can uh, go about in greater detail, customizing your logo. So yeah, I think logo designers is like a pro professional job on Fiverr and other places people are uh, using them. But if you don't want it, then uh, um, initially as a startup, if you're not well funded, if you want to do something on your own, this looks like a pretty decent one. And OpenAI has said that uh, they are going to cover the legal charges for uh, your logo. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, ample space around the logo. I've copied that in and balanced composition uh, now let me say playful and inviting here so i want it to be playful and inviting and that's it so let's get started let's see we have our logo ready uh, dale 2 is in progress uh, give it a minute or two we should see our logo ready in the meantime the last one we are doing for uh, this specific uh, Logo maker GPT is design a logo for my fitness brand Power Peak. So as soon as this is done, we'll move on to the next one. So we got a logo for this sweet sensations. And yeah, if you don't like this text, you can play around with it. Dale 2 will do a new image for you. And if you don't like the background color, you want to change different things. Uh, it's totally up to you what you like because um, logos are something what I like might not be something you would be okay with or what you like might not be something somebody else would be okay with. So whatever suits you, you can play around with it. And let me say symbol of strength because we are doing a fitness print. And let me say uh, bold and modern. Uh, okay. And yeah, the design should be versatile to print on all the uh, digital platforms like Instagram, TikTok or wherever you want to use it. So that's what I asked. If you don't like it, if you want to do it something else for Power Peak, you can do it or you want to call any other one like CrossFit or any other fitness brand you want to do it, you are free to do it. But uh, the idea here is we are just going through the GPT to learn how this would work. So just to show you here, I would basically ask it to uh, say can we have text power peak on the logo? Let's see it's able to do it. So yeah, it it is regenerating our logo. Let's see if it gets the text right. So as I said that uh, that's an, uh, just a reminder here text is something it might not get it right accurately yet because um, if you know the concept of clips okay yeah it got the text right here so but uh, just beware that uh, if you're doing some complex text with a tagline and all it might not do it perfectly all right but here it did it so for this example it's fine and all the prompts that are in here should be available to you Give this a try and let me know if you hit any issue. Thank you for joining.